Hello YouTube. Welcome to Trey Desmo. This video, I'm going to do a Mardi Gras wine goblet on the short that I previewed. Maybe it's been about two weeks or so. It was on a 20 ounce stem wine glass. So I'm going to do a variation of that one. I decided to do a goblet because I think that these goblets that I get from the Dollar Tree, I think it's more fun since Mardi Gras is about partying and fun. I think it'd be better to be on the goblet. The one I did on the wine glass was for an order. So this is, I'm going to make it for my uh, Tradesmo Etsy store. And um, I'm not going to talk your head off. It only takes a couple of different uh, items. One, you're going to have your goblet. I have this decal, which is the uh, mask. Let's see, where's that? Which is the mask. And of course, Mardi Gras colors. General colors are purple, green, and gold. So here's the decal we're going to use. I have five millimeter. Reason emerald green, five millimeter gold, and five millimeter purple reason rhinestones. As usual, I use my gem tag. I have my very raggedy right now, but my pickup stick. And pretty much that's all you need. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. What I usually do is I make a pattern around the base of the glass. And then when I get to the stem part, I'll just do a scatter method because it's kind of hard to maintain the pattern um, going all the way around. You can, but I think it's more cleaner. If I just start with a pattern, work my way up, just do the scatter method around the rest, then we'll uh, put our the cowl on there, bling it out, put some streamers, and we'll be done. This is a quick project. I pretty much guesstimate it's gonna be like a beginner level. So let's get started. Now what I'm doing here is I'm laying out the foundation row. Layer the gem tag, place each different color stone by twos. You can do it how you want, by ones if you want. For this demonstration, I'm doing it two a piece. So two purples, two golds, two greens. I did the twos all the way around until it got to the end. Where'd it go? Okay. Wait. Oh. After I got to the two golds here, then I only had space for three more stones. So then I had the gold, just purple, green, and gold. And those are just gonna be single instead of doing the two. So you have to work the pattern to make it fit in the space that you have. So that's the first row completed. I'll show you what to do on the second row. So we're gonna add another row of glue. We'll just put that little part right there. Okay. So let's start at the single ones. Here's the single one here, purple, green, and gold. The next, that's not enough glue. Wait a minute. Okay. The next piece, you're going to offset the second row. So see how I don't have it directly over that stone is to the right a little bit. Same with the green. This pattern is gonna make like a swirl. See? So now I have two purples, so I'm gonna offset it by two. We're back into our regular pattern now. You might wanna push it over a little bit so you have room. I'm not going to say it's going to fit perfectly. 
if you feel more comfortable, you can go to a smaller stone. Or even giving it the illusion that it's going to go perfect. You might just use one stone. Now this might push it over this a tad. Try to make it. If you can't do two stones, like looking at this green one, I might just put it the one stone there. And then now it, it goes to, because as you go up, well, let me explain it, okay. You might have to use one stone depending on how it falls because the bottom base is wider. As you move towards the center, your room is going to crouch in more, if that makes sense. So you have to adjust your stone placement by one or two stones and fit them back in when you get a chance. Because just think you're only doing it from here to about right here. The outside to here and then I'm just going to do a scatter and I can place them wherever I want to then. This is the only place I'm trying to make the pattern. It's kind of cool. You'll see it when it's finished. So I'm still just trying to make the stones fit where I can in the narrower base as the base narrows. See, like this one. I couldn't put another green one. It would be too far off. So I'm going to put a gold one there instead. Trying to follow the pattern as closely as I can. The finished result, it would look the same. Unless if somebody's like counting your stones, if they do that, then that's not your customer anyway. Or that's not the person you want to give it to, whatever you're going to do with it. So I push too hard on that one. You don't want it to go over the rim. So that's another one that's so going to have one that go. Like I said, you just have to adjust it. Just try to keep with the pattern as much as you can. Okay, so we finished the second row. I tried to keep as much as I could of the pattern. Now, as like I said, as you go in closer to the center, your pattern's gonna change, but if you try to keep that same, you don't count. At least it's from maybe bearing from one to two, it's still going to look like it's swirling. So I'm going to go ahead and go around it and then I'll show you the final result. Not the final glass, but the final pattern results so you can see what I'm talking about. Okay, I went four rows in. And I don't know if you can really tell or not now when the, when the white gem tag glue dries, you can see it better. But if you can see... The pattern, I tried to stick as close to it as I could. Some of the colors got lost in the rows. But it's like kind of like a candy cane swirling kind of thing going on. Again, when the white glue dries, you can see it better. I'm now going to start from here up to about the bottom of this bubble. I'll make a random colors with these three colors going up so 
I'll show you in a little bit. Next day, let's get an alcohol swab. Trying to decide where I want to put the decal. Just wiping it down till I decide what side I want to put it on. Okay. That's the cow we're using. I'm just going to trim a little closer to the actual decal. And I'm gonna cut some small slits. It'll help it lay, since this is a curved glass. It may or may not help it lay better. I find that it does. Cause I'm like, not the best at putting on the cows. Okay, here I'm just applying the cow to the glass, taking my time, smoothing it on bit by bit, trying not to get too many air bubbles in there if I could avoid it. So now the only thing that's left, you can leave it like this if you want. The only thing that's left is to fill in the mask, do the line for the gold and green, and then also the little confetti type of decorations. So for the fill in, I use three millimeter and I have four millimeter in purple. You could go with your five millimeter that you use for the base it might be quicker, but I prefer to do uh, fill-ins with three and four. So all I'm doing here is applying the gem tag, and I'm filling in the purple part of the mask with the three and four millimeter stones. The mask filled in. So for the embellishments I'm just going with a straight four millimeter follow the same process here add the gem tag and apply your four millimeter stones same process with the green I just didn't do it on camera the last part of this project you can leave it like this and of course, I'll show it to you again when the glue dries, but you can leave it like this, or you can do like I had in the examples and add some embellishments. Like, I just go with my, I didn't even bother to cut out vinyl to do this part. Add some curlies. Like that. Now for this, you can use any size you prefer. I should move that out the way. Do a color by color. So that way, since you have the rhinestone sitting out, I would go with a five millimeter. So we'll do purple first. And all I'm gonna do is follow the lines I just made. Just continue to add the colors to your freehand glue lines. Do one color per three lines if you would like. And don't worry about how that glue looks, it's gonna dry clear. So, that's the five millimeter purple. I'm 
I'm gonna add some more squigglies. We're gonna do gold this time. And like I said, this is just random. Don't be afraid to show some creativity in your squigglies. Five millimeter gold. Continue the same process with your freehand glue lines. Right now we're working on the gold color. This is it. You got your colors, you got your confetti type of looking streamers. You got your swirl at the base, a scatter on the stem. Nice party Ike. So we'll um, let the glue dry. And I'll show you the final product as soon as it's ready to be shown. But I'm liking it. And actually, I like this goblet better than the wine glass. But it, this same procedure works for either one. So we will see the final product.